I'm Richard Clark. I record these talks every day as a way to deepen my inquiry. Listen each day and deepen your own practice. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book, Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is from talk 352. Maharshi, the thought rises up as subject and object. I alone being held, all else disappears. It is enough, but only to the competent few. The others argue, quite so, the world that exists in my sleep has existed before my birth and will exist after my death. Do not others see it? How can the world cease to be if my ego appears not? The genesis of the world and the different schools of thought are meant to satisfy such people. Questioner. Nevertheless, being only products of intellect, they cannot turn the minds inward. Maharshi, just for this reason, the scriptures speak of an interned look, one pointed look, and so on. The self being always the self, why should only a dira be illuminated? Does it mean a man of courage? No, de equals intellect, ra equals watch, protection. So dira is the one who always keeps the mind inward bent without letting it loose. In this dialogue, Sri Ramana Maharshi addresses the nature of subjective experience and the different philosophical perspectives regarding the existence of the world. Ramana begins by discussing the nature of individual consciousness. He states that when the subject, the individual I, and the object, the external world, are perceived as one, the absolute existence, Atman, your true identity alone remains, and everything else disappears. This experience of pure subjectivity is profound and transformative, but Ramana notes that it is comprehensible only to those who are spiritually prepared, or the competent few. Ramana then contrasts this deep self-inquiry with the conventional understanding held by many. He describes how they argue that the world they experience, even in dreams, persists before they were born and will continue after their death. They question how the world could cease to exist if their ego their sense of individuality is not present. To address these differing viewpoints and in intellectual pursuits, Ramana mentions the creation myths and diverse philosophical doctrines that attempt to explain the genesis of the world and cater to these individuals who are unable to grasp the deeper truth of self-realization. In response to a questioner's doubt about the effectiveness of intellectual doctrines in turning the mind inward, Ramana Maharshi agrees, stating that these teachings are indeed the products of the intellect and are limited in their ability to facilitate true self-knowledge. 
the self cannot be reached or known by the mind. The self can be known, but as direct experience. Ramana emphasizes the importance of scriptures that speak of an interned look or a one-pointed look, indicating the need for a focused and concentrated mind turned inward towards the self. He explains that the self, your true nature, is always present and unchanging. Therefore, the question arises, why should only a dira, a courageous or wise one, be illuminated? Ramana clarifies that dira doesn't simply mean courage. It denotes someone who possesses a D, intellect, that is vigilant or watchful. A dira is one who constantly keeps their mind turned inward, guarding against its tendencies to wander outward towards external phenomena. This dialogue underscores Ramana Maharshi's teachings on the nature of consciousness, the limitations of intellectual doctrines, and the necessity of inward focused attention for realizing your true nature as the unchanging self. It invites you to go beyond intellectual understanding and cultivate a steady inward gaze to realize the self within. So inquire, know yourself, and be always free and at peace. The book, Who Am I with Comments, is my take on these early teachings of Ramana Maharshi. It's available on Amazon, free to Kindle subscribers. A link is in the video notes. These videos bring Ramana's teachings into your direct experience. Click subscribe to see more. Click thumbs up to like and send questions and start a dialogue with the comments 